I got my acorn set up. I got my tip top temp set where I want it to be about 2.5. Um, I've already loaded up the charcoal with some wood and the important thing is that you can see right in the middle all the way down I can see I can put my finger down here and touch that grate so now I know there will be enough airflow. Uh, make sure this is open. Alright, so start the timer. And let's get this thing going. Just lit a little bit in the middle, not a whole lot. You can see it's down there. I'm just gonna let that sit there and light for five five minutes or so. And so we are at almost two minutes. So it's been about seven minutes. I can see it's lit pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the smoking stone on. Okay, go ahead and put the drip pan on. Put my grate on. Temperature probe on. All right. All right. So we got tip top temps wide open. I got my smoke going, and it's been about eight minutes. Acorn's heating up. I'm gonna put the rub on my pork butt. And the nice thing about the thermal work smoke, <clears throat> I can monitor the temperature in here while I get other stuff done. 19 minutes, uh, we're at 150, and you can see this thick white smoke is coming out. This is not the kind of smoke we wanna see for smoking, but this is what you're gonna see as your cooker warms up. And it will thin out as it gets hotter. Um, since we're at 150, I'm aiming for 250, 275. I'm just gonna go ahead and bump this down a little bit. Just a little bit. Just make sure I can stop the uh, cooker at the right temperature. All right, let's see. Almost 25 minutes. Still thick white smoke. You can see the tip top temp has closed some. We're at 197. Previously I set this to four or 3.5. I'm gonna drink it down to a two. All right, so as it gets close to my target temperature, I'm just gonna keep, keep easing back that bottom vent and the tip top temp, it'll do its thing. I have this set on the setting that I know from my past cooks is a pretty good setting for the temperature I want, but I may adjust it as we go along. We are at 28 minutes. Still got the thick white smoke. We're at 224, I'm shooting for a 250. 275 tip top temps closing I'm gonna go ahead and take this down here and I'm gonna put it on that that nail right there which is where I usually keep it so that's pretty much all the adjustments I'm gonna make for now uh, the tip top temp should close down hopefully and we should rein this temperature in at around 250 so just a little bit more to go and 28 minutes, get back with you soon. 
All right, so we are at 32 minutes. Hasn't been too long since the last one. We're at 250, and the temperature is still climbing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, take my TikTok temp, and I can manually shut it just a little bit. So now I'm at a two. All right, so that should hopefully stop the temperature from climbing. That's okay if it gets up a little bit hotter. I'm okay with 275. Um, also, I know from past experience that as soon as the meat goes on, this temperature is going to drop back down. So if it gets a little bit warmer than I'm aiming for, that's okay because I know the meat is going to affect the temperature of the cooker. But I want to try and have it at the temperature I know it will settle down at as the meat cooks. Because as the meat gets hotter, the temperature in the cooker will climb, but it shouldn't climb past what I have it set at when the meat goes on. So that's the plan. Um, smoke settling down a little bit, still a little bit thick. That's okay. So we'll only let this go for a little bit longer. We're at 33 minutes since I lit the acorn. So we're sitting at 42 minutes. Uh, temperature's up to 279, which is a little bit warmer than I wanted. Um, but that's okay, not too concerned about it because I know a pork butt can take high temperatures. If I was doing ribs or something I wanted it to do real low and slow, I would have brought this up to temperature slower than I did. I've been very conservative. Start closing the bottom gate um, sooner than I did. But um, so let's talk about, let's say, how do you cool off your smoker when it gets this hot? Well, if you remember, I don't want to open the smoker right now. But I put one of these pans in there as a water pan. And if I wanted to cool this off right now, I would open the lid. And I've put in maybe a quarter to a half inch of water into that water pan. And that's going to cool that smoker off because now a lot of the heat that's being produced will be going into evaporating that water. So you'll evaporate the water, which will increase the uh, moisture in your smoker and also cool off the temperature inside your acorn. So again, just open it up, pour yourself some water into that water pan, and you'll cool your smoker off. You don't want to come up a little bit closer. All right, ooh, smoky and hot. Put the meat on the grill. About 45 minutes in the things, temperature dropped down, and we can see it's climbing back up. So it'll be interesting to see where that stops at. All right, we're 60 minutes into it. We're at almost 250. Temperature was at 256 for a while. Now it's starting to drop. So it's about where I want it. Let's see what happens. Um, Sun's really bright, but we got very thin blue smoke, which is what we want. All right, uh, it's been about four and a half hours since I put the butt on. Ran into a couple glitches. Um, you can see I put this umbrella up. Reason for that was uh, so I was out here at 6:30 a.m. As soon as the sun came up directly um, over those trees, and it's a very hot summer day. You can see it's about 87 right now. And as soon as that sun hit the acorn, it started heating it up and my temperature started spiking a little bit. So put this umbrella up. That helped with that. And about 30 minutes ago, I looked over and noticed that the temperature was at 288. Uh, I forgot to film it, but what I did was I came out here. The temperature was 288 and I opened it up and poured some water in there. I'm not going to put too much in there because it's still got plenty right now. Uh, but I put, you know, some water in there and closed it back down. And that did two things. One is it, when I opened the lid out, it opened, it let a lot of the heat out. And then by putting that water in there, um, it, it adjusted the, the dynamics inside the cooker. And you could see that it was back down to 250. So I dropped it 30 degrees or so. So... That's a good way to handle a temperature spike. You can see that the tip-top temp is 
open a good amount. It was closed all the way, but I think when I put the water in, it made it open up a little bit. And we're still sitting on that screw. All right, so I'm getting ready to wrap this butt. I'm gonna wrap it because it's 4th of July and I wanna get it done within the next four hours, so. All right, got the butt all wrapped up. Uh, I put it in a cake pan because I want to collect the juices and I'll separate the fat out of the juices and put that back into the pulled pork make it nice and juicy. Um, butt's at about 170 so we're definitely in the stall right where I thought we'd be. Um, so we'll let it keep on cooking. Temperature in the cooker is going to rise back up. I'll keep an eye on that see where we settle out at but uh, gonna let it go up to Maybe 300, 325, get this thing done quick.